Bueno Diaz. This is Dave from Oronica once again. We're on our way to uh, check out another site here. And as usual, you can see how we start our day here in Chantales. That would be following a herd of cows down a dirt road. And uh, so if you come here to do any prospecting, you're going to do this a lot. Because <laughs> this uh, Chantales uh, is known for two things. It's known for gold and it's known for cows. And it's actually uh, probably equally famous for both but um, so if you don't like cows don't come here but if you do come here because you're gonna see a lot of them so uh, we'll be getting to the site here in a little while um, unfortunately this is as good as the road gets and uh, and then it goes to basically no road and and just off-roading to get there um, so maybe I'll take a little video of that in a little while but uh, until then talk to you later this is Dave again. Just wanted to show you some of the uh, the road here. Um, this part of the problem with this property is um, right now you can drive to it, um, and there's sort of a road, um, but the, there's no water here right now. I mean, everything is completely dry, so you really can't do much prospecting um, and uh, finding my way through here. You really can't do much prospecting um, because there's no water. Uh, but but when you can do prospecting, there's there's uh, so much water and rain here that uh, it makes it impossible to drive here because this is just completely mud. And I gotta fight my way through here. Oops. This is Dave once again from Oronica and uh, we've been patrolling around here for a couple hours and uh, with the metal detector and this site is to say the least disappointing we found nothing but uh, we found a few bottle caps and a couple old nails um, the rocks here don't give anywhere near the signals of the rocks at the other place we were at um, and really it was hard to tell from the pictures but once we got here um, you can see the rocks look quite a bit different um, in that they're darker um, they're rusty a little bit but not as rusty as the other spot um, so I'm actually gonna bust a few of these open just to take a look um, the other difference is none of these big rocks have any quartz veins in them all the other rocks at the other property all have quartz veins running through them and that's where we were seeing like the little bit of bits of gold in them so uh, this uh, property is not looking real uh, real good at this point keep you posted well, this is Dave here again, uh, packing up the car. We spent, I don't know, three or four hours here looking at rocks, and I, I had thought about this place for a long time because we see these big boulders that are everywhere. Um, I honestly thought, like, these may have a chance of having gold in them, but uh, there is nothing here. Um, we, we searched quite a bit of property today and we found absolutely nothing so uh, that's why why they call it prospecting I guess and not finding um, but uh, this this property is a bust and uh, the interesting thing about this property is we, although we're, we're prospecting on it somebody has already bought mineral rights to this property so somebody thinks there's something here and that's uh, one of the reasons why I wanted to come out and check this property um, we're allowed to prospect on it um, because we have permission of the landowners. Um, we couldn't start mining here, obviously, because we don't have the mineral rights. But um, I'm not sure what somebody wanted the mineral rights for here because I didn't find anything. I didn't find gold, silver, platinum, copper, nothing. Um, so uh, this is definitely a bust, but uh, this is what you have to do to find the gold, I guess. You have to... Uh, come out and uh, and search so back at it tomorrow at another property hi this is Dave again from Oranica.com and uh, I'm back at the hotel um, got back early today because uh, we struck out on our prospecting adventure didn't find anything so I was getting the uh, equipment ready for tomorrow um, tomorrow we're going to be taking we're going to another property and we're going to be taking the gold hog with us and we're going to be doing some uh, river uh, excavating and uh, high banking there. Um, one of the things I noticed when I was uh, getting the gold hog together was 
um, I'm not sure how well you can see this but right here uh, this is loose and the reason is one of the rivets has popped out and the reason I wanted to mention that is uh, it's kind of an interesting feature of uh, the gold hog is that it's not welded together um, it's riveted together and you might think well that's kind of crazy because rivets fall out but well it's not because welds break and if it was welded together and the weld breaks um, you'd have to find somebody that could have weld the aluminum and it would be a major hassle um, with this all you need to do is carry a little rivet gun with you and some uh, quarter quarter inch rivets and uh, you're good to go so I'm just gonna fix this right now and and we'll be all set to go tomorrow uh, no need to weld it uh, just pop a rivet in and you're good to go